just like that, here we go again. It's time to pack for yet another skating contract. I am so looking forward to this contract, but it's very quickly approaching and I am pretty much not prepared whatsoever. Mentally, I'm ready to go, but physically, I just, I haven't really done much to get myself ready. So I leave in about a week, which is pretty soon, and I have not started the packing process yet, so I thought that I really should. I should get a grip on that today. I did get some new luggage here. They still very much have the tags on them. I just got them for Christmas, but they're so nice, and they spin and roll like so smooth. So this is a carry-on, and then this will be my checked bag. So this is all I'm gonna bring because I'm only there for a month. Usually for one of my ship contracts, I bring two carried luggages. This is way shorter, so. What do we got here, Coco? It's really been a long time coming since I got some nice luggage. I have my one pink bag, which is really nice, but now I feel kind of like a big girl now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is really nice. And it also comes with a little bag for like liquids, which is really nice. That's perfect, actually. Super useful. She always gets a bit of anxiety when she sees luggage. It makes me so sad. It's okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. Here's the size. I think she wants to get in the luggage. She always does this. It's pretty deep, which is really nice. There's some pockets here. This is like a zip, a zipped pocket. So, yeah. <laughs> there she goes. Is that comfy? I feel like the easiest place for me to start is workout clothes because I'm most likely going to be living in my skating attire, leggings, tank tops, things like that. That's always the easiest to pull because it's all just, you don't have to think about it. The challenge that comes is deciding how many pairs of leggings to pull. This has become a bit of a mess because I have so many pairs of leggings. Here we have it. I definitely want to pair these, these. Maybe I'll bring my brown leggings. These are my favorite to like work out in. These are fun. I haven't brought these last contract, so those are fun. I'll bring these, gray. I need black, obviously. I think that's enough. We will also have a washer and dryer. I think they have a laundry facility in the in the hotel. Moving on to shorts. I want to bring like a couple pairs of lounge shorts and then some workout shorts. This is a mess. Oh my god, I need to reorganize this. I can bring these. Oh, I have these white ones. Cute. And these. That should be good for like loungy shorts. Bearing in between shows. I have to pack a few pair of shorts for outfits because hopefully it's going to be warm. Realistically, I should only need like one workout top for each day, but I never really know how much I'm going to exercise because I don't know what our schedule is going to be like. Got two black workout tops. The arena can't be too cold, you know? It's Florida. As much as I pack, I just don't like to pack. Like, I really do not like it and it stresses me out, <laughs> but I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of it, you know what I mean? Chances are I could pack for this contract and carry on, but I'm not gonna do that to myself. Um, I want a white top. I just don't need a ton, you know? Okay, black, green, that's good enough. I think it's time to um, move on to the, to the wardrobe. I don't know why I'm saying wardrobe. It keeps slipping out of my mouth. It's a closet. That's when you know that you're dating someone who's English. <laughs> um, okay. So, as you can see, I have a lot of winter stuff. A lot of winter stuff, and I don't need that for that climate. So, I definitely do want to bring this vest because I'm obsessed with it. It's from Revolve, and it's my favorite hover vest ever. It's, like, cropped and just super cute. I feel like this will be really cute. If it is chilly at all, like, at night, I don't suspect it will be. But also for, like, rehearsals, whatever. I want to bring my bolero because I just, you know, it's doesn't take up much space and it's really cute so that's coming with me I think now I'm gonna pull out some bodysuits we have shows every day but I don't know the schedule of the shows 
So my plans for like after at night will depend on that. You know, if we have a show at 10 o'clock or 11, I'm not gonna wanna really do anything after. I can also wear these bodysuits to skate in if I want, but chances are I won't. Oh, I just got this purple one from Express the other day. Is it not to die for? I love the color. Such a nice like spring color. I'm trying to be minimalistic, which is just not my forte. It is so hard for me to pack minimally. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to be very picky with my selection. Literally all the bodysuits I've grabbed so far are like this high neck style. Ooh. I did also just get this one from Express. So cute. It's like a one shoulder kind of burnt orange of rust color bodysuit. This one is definitely on the more like dressy side. I feel like the older I get, the less I wear like crop toppy kind of things. I really love a good bodysuit. I feel like it just looks nice and they're so easy to throw on. Here's another little bodysuit. And I think that's good for bodysuits. Maybe just one black one. This is the black one I'm going to bring. And I think that's good. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bodysuits. We're moving on to like shorts and skorts. Things of that matter. I'm gonna bring one pair of jean shorts and I'm also gonna bring one pair of like normal pair of jeans but I'm probably gonna wear those on the plane just because they're they're heavy. And the ones I have are quite comfy so I don't really mind wearing them on the plane. These are the jeans I'm gonna bring from Princess Polly. They're like a light wash so they're perfect for Florida. I've got all of my skirts hung up here so I'm gonna bring one leather one my yellow skirt. I think that's it for skirts. I have this set. I might bring this set. It's just a button down with a pair of shorts. So these shorts I can wear with so many different things because it's just cream. Oh, also, I just found these a couple days ago at Marshall's. I was looking for like vacuum sealed bags for packing. I've been meaning to get those forever, but like I just, I haven't. So I found these. It's pretty much the same thing, but you just roll out the air. So we'll see how they, how they work. Let's see what these bags are about. Okay, it's a pretty good size. It's quite big, it comes with four. So basically I just fold and roll everything into here and then roll this up. We've got quite a good start. I think we need to move on to dresses. I did organize this when I came home. So it's looking a lot better, but it's still very full. I need a few sundresses and then I have a few more skirts in here, which is good. So. Like, I definitely want to bring this one. This one's really fun. But I am bringing zebra pants, so maybe not. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to bring this instead. I love these, like, midi skirts or, like, maxi skirts. So I'm going to bring this one. Somehow I just always overpack, and I'm really trying to not do that this time. I'm definitely bringing my clown pants. I call them my clown pants because they're, like, gauchos, and they are different colors. But I find them really fun, so... I'm bringing these. I have this set. I got shortened. I don't know when I got them shortened, but it's a pair of pants and a little top. This little white sundress. Always good to have a nice little basic. This one. And I think that is, that is it, folks. And then I've got some bathing suits up here. More than a few. This is my robe for backstage, so I will be bringing that. Um, I just got this bathing suit, so I'm gonna bring this one. This orange one. Actually, I'm gonna bring this one instead of the orange one. And this one. I think that's enough. I think I'm gonna start with the leggings. Pants, I should say. I'll just pack it in. Time will tell, right? We'll find out. We'll find out if it actually works. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to do that. I, I think I got most of the air out, but I feel like I've packed it too much because I can't really roll it. I think I just need less stuff in it, but it's fine because I can just lay this flat in the in the bag. Here we go. Not too shabby. There we are. That's pretty good. This is my pile of bathing suits. I think I'm gonna put all of them into this little pocket right here because I've got 
two pretty big pockets and I haven't utilized them yet, but all of my clothes are packed. So I have all this space for shoes, which I won't be packing many. And yeah, I think we're doing well. Fish nets, I have two pairs, one for backup, skating socks and my robe. I'm gonna put these in this bag and then shove it in, in here somewhere. is looking good i've added um these two little bags it's all of my like first aid stuff sewing kit band-aids this is all my hair accessories like bobby pins and things like that i have two pairs of shoes one pair of sandals and my new heels and then i also have new sneakers that i'm going to be bringing so i haven't worn them yet but they are the adidas originals i got them in kit size obviously i got them at the outlet for like 30 dollars, which was such a good deal so i'm gonna pack these and then my stan smiths i think i'm pretty much set with the suitcase at least for now the day before is gonna be like the double checking of everything and adding anything else that i might need in there the luggage is set so i feel a huge weight lifted that didn't take too long but it's just better to do it now than have to wait till the last day as far as my carry-on is concerned i'm gonna wait for another day for that because most of that stuff i can't even really pack it until the day before because i'm using all the stuff that i put in there like my makeup laptop kindle other electronics things like that and skates but i am very excited to have like a rolly carry-on because now i can actually put my skates in here rather than putting them in my backpack and literally throwing out my back every single time i travel because it's so heavy on my back I think, I think we're at a good place for today. T minus four days until I leave for my next contract. So I think this is gonna be the last time I skate before I head there. Today's a Monday and we have just arrived to the rink. So I'm gonna teach for a little bit and then I'm gonna skate for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour if I have the time to. First skate of 2023 and last skate before the contract. It's freezing in here. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. I got one, two, three, four flares on. gathering in like 30 minutes and my hair looks like this <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do something about that but I had a good little session so I skated for a little over an hour here like give or take 
and then I had one lesson for like 35 minutes and my legs are definitely feeling it. It's amazing what a different skating on big versus small ice does and I'm trying to stay within a small space just because I'm going to be skating on the same size surface that I usually do for shows so it's 40 by 60 but just skating laps around the rink is exhausting. I'm a little concerned that my legs are um shaky <laughs> but I'm gonna get whipped into shape real fast with this show. All in all, first skate of 2023 was a success and we are one step closer to heading to my contract. In two days from now, I will be on my flight to Florida for my one, two, three, fourth contract and my first contract on land. Very exciting times ahead. I'm really looking forward to it, but there's still like so much I need to get done before leaving. As of right now, my flights are still on time. They're still scheduled as normal. I do want to add my bag before I get there because if I add it more than 24 hours before my flight, I save like $5 or something. So the company I'm working for reimbursed me for my ticket and for my bags, which is great. So I had to book my own flights and then I pay for my bag as well. But then at the end of the contract, I get a full refund for that stuff. So that is definitely very nice. I'm flying JetBlue again and I really hope it's a better experience than the last time I flew home. I'm only gonna check one bag because I'm only there for like three and a half weeks. And it's only 30 bucks, which is it's pretty good. We are 24 hours out. It kind of doesn't feel real. Like it hasn't processed fully yet. And I want to say that I'm pretty much ready to go, but that's kind of a lie. I still have a few things that I have to sort out. Um, yeah, but 24 hours from now, I will be sitting at the airport, probably just about to board my flight, which is very exciting. And um, yeah, I have no clue what to expect on this contract, but looking forward to it. Today, I really need to pack my carry-on bag. So I do have like a wheelie bag now that matches my new suitcase, which is lovely. I double checked and I do have a carry on allowed on this flight. So we're not going to have a repeat of last time, which I did not get a refund for. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but yeah, I have to pack my carry on. I'm going to have like my skates in there and like my electronics, things of that sort, my makeup. And then I'm just about to run to Target though, because I have a few toiletries I need to get. Not very many. Most of the stuff I kind of bought along the way or like in advance, so I'm pretty stocked up. I just need like my cellar water, toothpaste. There was something else. I think it's on my list. So outfit of the day, let's head to Target and also maybe grab a coffee on the way. Here we are, good old Target. I've been in here a total of like five seconds and I'm already getting distracted. I've already picked up a few things from the little like $1 to $5 section at the front. This is the exact aisle I needed. All the travel size stuff. The dash is crooked in this car, like it's at an angle, so that's why you're crooked. We've had a successful Target trip, and I got Starbucks on the way out. Double espresso on ice with almond milk and vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. But I didn't get an Aventi cup this time, because I didn't know if they would charge me extra because I was in there, and usually I mobile order ahead. So we're gonna drive home, and then I will give you a haul of what I got. I got more than I anticipated. <laughs> and back home with my bean. I'm gonna miss you when I'm gone, but I'll be back. Let's give you a haul because I got more than I was headed there for. But that tends to usually happen on any given Target trip, you know what I'm saying? So, first thing I got that I love getting every single year is a calendar. This one's really large. It was from like the $5 under section. So I like to hang this on my door. I did get a little basket. I had one of these last contract and I kept all my like electronics in it and it was such a useful thing to have in the cabin and it was only $5. So I got one of these, I'll pack it for um, 
a wonder. They had my Fervor like day cream on sale for $8 instead of $17. So I got one of those. I'm not running low yet, but I figured when I do, I'm gonna want one. Toothpaste. We've got some micellar water, a full size for at home and a travel size to bring with me. Eyelash glue, cause mine is kind of crusty. A travel size bar soap, setting spray. This is the Makeup Revolution. I was gonna say flavor, brand. <laughs> I got a travel size body wash, shampoo and conditioner, some Crest mouthwash, Jergens Daily Glow, another restock of my Essence mascara. I've never tried the volume one, but this was literally the only one they had left. I got a banana sunbum chapstick. These were sold out for like years. Every time I saw them, they were always sold out. Um, and I'm out of my teeth whitening strips, which I do need to place another, another order for. But I got the ARC teeth whitening pen. Heard a lot of good things about that. Last two things I got are things I've never tried before. I got the Essence Brow Gel. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Like I usually use a pomade, so this is more of like a, a wand. Thought we'd try it. And then I got the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I heard a lot of good things about this. I wanted to try it, so I got the small size. And it kind of made me realize that when you wanna try a new product, they almost always have like a mini version. So if you don't wanna pull the plug and buy like the full size product before knowing if you like it or not, just get the travel size. Cause it's really cheap and you still have enough product to try it out enough to decide if you like it or not. So that's everything I got. And I got travel size with pretty much everything because I'm only gonna be in Florida for like three and a half weeks. So I definitely will not go through more shampoo and conditioner than this. Plus I don't even wash my hair every single day. I wash it like every two or like three days. I've received my email notification to check in for my flight. So we're gonna do that now. I snagged some window seats for both of my flights. Are you a window person or an aisle person? Because I'm a window person. Get boarding passes. I am all checked in, but it was weird. It was only giving me one boarding pass, like from my first flight. I mean, it's fine. Tomorrow when I drop off my bag, I'm sure they'll print boarding passes for me. So that is all sorted. Now we have to move on to the carry-on. Well, I better grab my skates before I forget. Obviously, I wouldn't forget my skates, but like, I just don't. I don't even want to go there, so I'm just gonna pack them. Now, these are the most precious cargo, so let's pack these first and foremost. We've got the bag. Coco's probably gonna go sit in it right now. This little bag is perfect. I can put all of my travel size toiletries I just bought in here, or like some of them. We're going it in are the skates which are gonna take up pretty much most of the space. Notebooks are gonna go in this little pocket. I'm gonna bring my tripod. GoPro and accessories can go in there. This bag isn't gonna hold very much, but I think some of the stuff I bought, I can put in my like makeup container. So in here, I can put my cellar water, shampoo, conditioner. I have to be strategic about how I fit it in here. Body wash, lotion, and my hair stuff, toothpaste. Okay, I think it's looking good. Perfect. Actually, this works out beautifully. I'm bringing three palettes, toiletries, makeup, two razors, cotton rounds, which I'll definitely have to buy more of. These actually have to go in my luggage because they're over three fluid ounces. Eyelashes and bobby pins and then my strainer and my curler. Well, that turned out pretty nicely. I don't really know what these are for. Maybe to secure it. There we go. I think we're pretty much good. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. And this is gonna be so easy to roll. I forgot I even have like outside pockets I can put things in, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with our progress. Carry-on is all good to go. Luggage is all good to go. I'm gonna have to keep this one open because I need to access my makeup in the morning. I will never be a light packer. That's just, I think it's just never gonna happen for me. You know, this is me packing light. So yeah, we're good to go. Now it's time to weigh this and make sure that it's not overweight because I don't think it will be, but we have to check. I've got my handy dandy scale. Maybe I can do it from the side. 
feel like that's going to be easier for my back. Here we go. Moment of truth. All right. Okay. We're at 16 kilo. So we're, we're, we're pretty good. That is the lightest I've ever had a checked bag in my life. I've just taken my luggage tags from my other bags downstairs. And I'm going to put them on my carry-on and my new bag. I'm just going to leave this luggage out here because it takes up some space in my room. There we go. Good to go. I did get one of these on Amazon. I have yet to try it, so hopefully tomorrow on the plane I can test it out. Basically, it's like a Bluetooth jack so that you can use your AirPods with the screen that's on the airplane TVs. I've been going at it. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned my room a little bit more. Pretty much just cleaned the last half hour or so. I am getting my nails done. I'm really excited. I haven't gotten my nails done for like an occasion in a really long time. So I have an appointment. I'm going with Jamie and Emily. I don't know what I want to get yet. Something neutral. Maybe that like Maybe that nail trend that was going around with like bubble bath or something. The Hailey Bieber nails. And then I think we're going to grab a bite to eat afterwards. And I want to try and drop off a package at UPS before my appointment. So I'm going to make sure that's like on the way. If not, we're just going to have to leave that until I come home. Also super exciting news. Damar Hamlin woke up. He is awake. He's doing a lot better. I've been honestly stressed about this for days now so they're having a press conference on espn so i'm just waiting to see that and then i'm gonna head out the door damar hamlin the bills safety who of course was admitted to the hospital on monday night you're expected to hear from the bills any moment now from their team facility o'clock. I am home. I am in my pajamas. I have showered, done my skincare. I'm super happy with how my nails turned out. I was a little bit frustrated because my nail guy had me sit down and then he went and just did somebody else's nails as I'm sitting in these like warm, I don't know, like sleeves. And then he just abandoned me for like 35 minutes which was really annoying especially because we had appointments but my nails did turn out really pretty so i got like a nudish color of gel and then i had him add just one layer of this like really iridescent sparkle so very subtle i didn't want it to be too crazy because i don't know what the requirements are for the show and then we went and grabbed some dinner afterwards i had a veggie quesadilla which was so good and now i'm boiling some water to make some tea I will be vlogging my travel day tomorrow and settling in, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm going to turn off the camera for the rest of the evening and just chill with Coco and relax until tomorrow. So, I love you guys to the moon and back. I'm so excited to bring you guys along for this journey, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.